guys are having a wonderful summer and I just wanted to tell you, update you guys on how our summer is going um, as you all may have known our summer was planned to the to the nine to the T to the X power it was planned out so well it's all falling through the cracks <laughs> Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about homeschooling and biblical womanhood so I hope you subscribe. Before I tell you all about how my plans just got completely derailed, um, I want to let you know that this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Katie over at Life in the Mundane so definitely check out her video at the end of this as well as the other wonderful women on this collaboration talking about their summer homeschool updates and it i think what happens a lot of the times is that we make these plans and we come out with these videos of these wonderful plans that we had for the summer but we never update you guys on them and so you think we're out here just killing the summer while you're struggling and the truth of the situation is we're struggling just as hard, if not harder. So definitely check out the playlist and check out all the women in this collaboration. You will not be disappointed. All right, so we have moved. We went from Florida to Kansas. And in all my bril brilliancy, is that the word? In all my, my wisdom, I thought, you know what? Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna let moving to a different state stop us and our plans okay we are gonna crush it all right we're gonna stick with the books we're gonna do all the things and we're just gonna nail life okay took me about a week to find our homeschool curriculum that was packed away beneath hundreds of boxes the thing is when you're packing and you have your plans and everything's going perfect and then you come to that like crunch time where it's like okay we need to be done packing so that we can leave and then everybody just starts throwing everything into boxes that's how you lose your homeschool curriculum that you were currently doing when you packed so yeah <laughs> if you were curious that's how it happened so I'm sitting here and I'm just like, oh my goodness. Um, I can't find their homeschool curriculum to even start if I wanted to. They barely have beds to sleep on. There is like, oh, that's not true. They do have mattresses to sleep on, but like everything is everywhere. You know, there's boxes that need to be un unpacked. There is like, we have no like set routine or structure or anything like that. Like I have not done a lick of nothing for the past two full weeks because today makes two weeks since we moved in I have not done any homeschooling book work at all and I'm okay with that because the kids have done a lot of life schooling now we've got um, my friend Katie over at life in the mundane who's hosting this collab her daughters and my daughters have just like become the best of friends and so they're constantly baking and cooking and doing all the things and she's done a lot more baking at katie's house than she's ever been allowed to do at <laughs> my house because i'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to like all the mess with the cooking and the baking and the flour and the stuff but Katie, Katie's the best, you know, like she, she allows them the freedom to learn and all the things. I'm sorry, that's my dog. She's playing with the neighbor dog across, like right in the next yard. So you might hear her barking in the background. As you can tell, I'm sitting in the back porch filming a video. So that just lets you know just how like up in the air my, um, up in the air all my plans have been. So anyway, snug, stop. So anyways, um, we have um, 
So she has got gained a lot of confidence in the kitchen. She's gained a lot of wisdom on how to bake and different measurements and different things like that. It's been amazing to see that blossom in only two weeks, you know? And then my son, my oldest, I mean, we've been doing a lot of DIY, DIY, DIY stuff, like heavy, like tearing down things um, and um, painting and a lot of like woodwork and all the things. And he's been right there with us, learning with us, doing all the things with us. That's my oldest. And it's, it's nice to see his confidence, you know, growing with those with tools and learning how to utilize them and different things like that. So we've had his, so, so he's been doing a lot of hands on with that. And we've got this beautiful backyard that we didn't have in Florida. Sorry, I had to put her inside because she's so loud. Okay. So anyway, so we've got this beautiful backyard that we did not have in Florida. And my youngest son has just been exploring and being so creative and innovative and he's taking jump ropes and throwing them in the trees and pretending to climb trees and he's throwing them up these stairs here and he's climbing mountains and he's just doing so much exploration and learning so much like using his imagination and so has my baby girl and that has been beautiful to watch and beautiful to see um it, it's just been a lot of life schooling that i'm incredibly thankful for um and yeah and so <laughs> but the truth is that that structure is needed and it's missed um as much as i they love this like freedom within the within this freedom also comes like a lack of understanding as to what your responsibilities are and expectations are of you on a daily basis and so because of that i just feel like it's necessary for us to bring back some sort of routine and structure within our day like homeschool has always been our anchor whether we're doing light school or a heavy load or whatever the situation is, always the anchor. Like we know we've got our morning routine before homeschool. We've got our quiet time and evening routine after homeschool. It's just the anchor of the day. It's just the, the constant. And so um, I am, I hope you guys can hear me. It's kind of windy out here. But I am so excited to go back to that, to go back to our anchor um and, but the the thing is we're not gonna go as intense as i had planned so we're gonna do a much lighter school than i had intended to do but that's just all that i can really handle right now with all the housework and all the doctor's appointments and all the different things of just establishing ourselves in a new state all the unexpected things that i didn't really know about so with all that um stuff it's just important that we're not bogged down with hours and hours of school every day but still within that it's important that we get back that routine and that structure that we had so we're planning on starting back up and just keeping it light possibly doing a more so um math and language arts and bible type of school and then um establishing routines you know we've got our morning routine and our evening routine let me know in the comments if you'd like an updated routine schedule or an updated chore schedule which is also what we're going to be working on is training on new chores and new responsibilities within this new home and stuff like that so let me know in the description if you'd like to see something like that um but yeah that's 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 pretty much our plan of attack for this upcoming summer. Um, and I hope that this helps you. I hope that this helps you to understand that even if all your plans fall through, you're not the only one, you're not alone. Um, <laughs> you're still doing good, you still got this. Um, and at, this is why we homeschool, for freedom and flexibility. So you can always 
pick it back up if you wish or keep it flowing how it's going now um but yeah don't forget to check out the playlist and check out all the mamas on this playlist and if you're new here welcome welcome this is i'm wendy nice to meet you um and we're going through a lot of changes here we're going through a lot of changes um if you'd like to see all that diy house type of things if you're really into that or like um grocery hauls and more plan prep pray gives you the plan a life of plan prep pray plan prep pray which is my other channel shows you how it all comes comes how it all happens um so you can check out that channel as well i'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to just subscribe to that channel um yeah so i hope this was informative <laughs> until next time bye